Hey boss babes, what's up, what's up? It's Coach Carissa here and I am talking today all about balance. Now balance obviously means something different to everyone, yet most of us are seeking it in some way, shape or form. So when you're burnt out, stressed out, overwhelmed, balance can seem like the ultimate remedy, like the, the fix all to my problems. Now, if you've been craving balance in your life, but you just can't keep, can't get your shit together, here are five reasons your life might be feeling a bit off balance and what you can do about it. So here are five reasons why balance is a struggle for you. Number one is that you haven't defined what balance truly means to you. If you've been wishing for your life to feel more balanced without defining what balance looks like to you, it's going to be very difficult to achieve it. After all, balance again is different for all of us, depending on the different responsibilities that we have. Maybe it's our relationships, hobbies, kids, sporting events, our jobs, self-care, health. There's so many different things that we are responsible for. So to kick things off, I thought what better way for you to um, like get your life back on track is to journal your thoughts about balance. What does balance mean to you? What are the feelings that balance will bring to your life? Advanced coaching tip is to visualize what balance looks like if you actually woke up every day and achieved a balanced life. This will give you a much better idea of what you should be striving for. All right, number two, reason why people struggle with balance is that they, um, they're not practicing self-discipline in their life. So even though discipline sounds like the opposite of balance, it's one of the best tools to help you feel on top of things. So without self-discipline, we often waste time, we procrastinate, and we fail to follow through with things. Now this only makes us feel overwhelmed, guilty, and totally unbalanced. So think about it and journal on the different ways you might be lacking in self-discipline. Advanced coaching tip here is how can you make many tweaks in your life that will help you follow through with things that you usually let go of because of lack of self-discipline? Try reducing distractions, getting clear on your priorities, setting some boundaries. Those are all great things to look at. All right, third reason of why uh, balance may be a struggle for you is that you aren't being consistent with your actions. So consistency is an important aspect of balance. Even though it may seem like not much fun and a lot of effort, but just think about it, right? If you're trying to get your body back into shape, you take a couple of weeks to eat clean and then you fall off the wagon and you find yourself eating cheeseburgers, chicken wings, chips and dip and blah, 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 right? So lack of consistency is, is our actions is one of the reasons your life might feel like it's all over the place. So, Advanced coaching tip here is I want you to write down the big five areas in your life. Typically that's your career, your business, your health and your wellness, your relationships, your finances, and some sort of spirituality, whether it's God, the universe, or energy. So once you've written down those five big areas in your life, I want you to look at and get a real honest look at where you could show up more consistent which would help you uh, feel more balanced, okay? These are the main areas that are gonna leave the biggest impact on your overall life balance. That's why I always say start with career, health, relationships, finances, and some kind of spirituality. If you need help being held accountable to these new lifestyle changes, or you're wanting to show up and be consistent, but you're missing the magic piece called accountability, uh, let's have a talk because I am helping hundreds of women show up and boss up and live their best lives through accountability and consistency and some self-discipline. All right, number four reason uh, that you are not feeling balanced right now is that you don't plan ahead. So when you forget to plan out all the details on your schedule, it's easy to feel very overwhelmed by everything that you have to do. Planning is a way um, that you can take care of business and take care of yourself. 
Though balance might seem like a go with the flow kind of thing, sometimes planning is the only way to make it happen. I like to say the GSD, get shit done. So you have to come up with a plan. Otherwise, you're just going with the flow and hoping to God that everything works out. And that's not how it's going to work out. Trust me, I've tried it. The advanced coaching tip here is to get your calendar out right now and schedule out what's important to you. Every day or every month, I sit down and I look at my priorities for that month and I schedule in what, what my priorities are and then everything else can be the filler, okay? So you have to know what your priorities are in order for this to happen. So advanced coaching tip to this is if you don't know what your priorities are, um, let's have a conversation because I would love to help you get really clear on what's most important to you so that you can make some major changes in your life so that you can feel more balanced. So if you plan these things, these priorities in your schedule, it's easy to stay on top of them during the week. And number five is that you aren't taking proper care of yourself. Mamas, we are the worst with this. We love dishing out our energy and our love and hoping to God that at the end of the day, we'll find some time for ourselves. It just doesn't work like this, mamas. So with everything you're juggling, work, relationships, home, life, health, school, etc., side hustles, right? There's so much that we are juggling, yet the most important thing that we need to do is take time for ourselves. Re remember, you're not blessing anybody if you don't bless yourself first. So just like the airlines say, put the oxygen mask on yourself first, and then you will feel more balanced. It's easy to create excuses about not having enough time for self-care, but even just five minutes a day is better than nothing. If you decide or if you practice self-discipline and you stay consistent and you plan ahead, you'll find that you can work self-care into your schedule. So advanced coaching tip here is once I have my um, calendar out, the very first thing that I make sure is on my calendar is my self-care practices. Typically, I start with self-care in the morning and I end with something that brings me lots of joy and happiness. And when we think about self-care, um, it's really it is, it's all about filling your bucket, right? What makes you happy? What brings you joy? It might be spending time with the kids. It might be reading. It might be true, like doing personal development and working on self-love. It doesn't matter what it is. If it brings you joy and happiness and it makes you feel good, it's self-care. So try and sandwich in your day with some self-care. Ladies, I promise these are major keys to being a successful uh, entrepreneur, a, su a successful executive, and just they're keys to success to feeling like you have your life together and that it's not happening to you and instead you are in control. All right, ladies, that's it for me. I am out. I hope you enjoyed today's article and I will see you next week. Bye.